It's sharing the same house that's making them so close. Six Syrian families fled the raging battles in their home country and sought refuge in neighboring Lebanon. Fadiya Abu Numri opened her doors to them. If you see the suffering in Syria, especially of the women and children, you cannot stop yourself from sympathizing. When you know people are fleeing their country in fear of their lives, you must help them. The UN has put up two wooden sheds in the garden. Two families live in this one. A half partition is all they get for privacy. There aren't any camps for Syrian refugees in Lebanon, and places for Syrians to stay are running out. From breadwinner to refugee is a tough transition. I was earning enough money to provide for all of us. Now we live on aid. It's eating us up inside that we have to live like this. I just wish I could go back to Syria. And it's not just a personal tragedy. The flow of refugees is a crisis for the country. But this is the biggest challenge facing Lebanon right now as a country, not as a government only. It's becoming a very huge burden on the political level, on the demographic level, on the economic level, and on the security level. And this is clear to see in the border town of Barlias. Twice a week, Syrian refugees gather here for basic supplies. This is an aid distribution center for Syrians. This town alone hosts 15,000 Syrian refugees, and that's almost half the number of the Lebanese who live here. And the Syrians are still coming every day. But aid isn't enough, and many Syrians are setting up their own businesses, like restaurants, in direct competition with the Lebanese. My business is down by about 40 percent. It's not only me, it's all businesses in Balias, everywhere. What can we do? Do we just shut our restaurants down until the end of the war in Syria? It's only going to get tougher for us. The Syrians are accused of undercutting the Lebanese. Ahl al-Sham is one of dozens of Syrian restaurants in this area alone. The owner goes back and forth to Syria for supplies. He doesn't want to show his face. There have been complaints from some Lebanese worried about the large number of refugees. I can understand this. I know how hard it is on them. It's hard on everybody. With the Syrian conflict entering its third year, Lebanese and Syrians are waiting for an end that doesn't seem in sight. Karin Torbay, BBC News, Lebanon.